Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan. Uh, I'm also a truck driver at Keystone Western. If you can believe it, I watch every one of his videos even though we uh, work at the same job. Uh, he's a very entertaining guy though. Um, just wanted to congratulate him on his new truck and uh, very excited to see those videos. All right, enjoy the video. Good morning, YouTube family, friends and enemies. How are you guys doing today? It's Thursday. You guys are ready for the day? We're here at the shipper. I'll give you a look. Very excited to be here. Same place as I was at yesterday and the day before picking up the exact same stuff, except today's stuff is going somewhere else. They're just coming out here to tell me where, they, where they'd like me, I think. I'm early. So uh might have to wait a little bit again today, but... We'll get loaded soon enough. I just want to let you know, I make a lot of videos here. For those of you who are new on the channel, don't leave yet. There's a lot more vlog up ahead. If you want to see past videos of mine, I have all of my vlogs listed in order from number one all the way to present day. I think we're on, what, 2,542? Somewhere around there. They're all listed in order in a playlist on my channel. You can go click it there, and it's easy to follow along that way. Shipper just came and talked to me, said that uh, there, there'll be a little bit yet. That's totally fine with me. It's raining. I don't want to work outside right now anyway. Hopefully the rain will slow down, but it seems like it's picking up. I've had a leaking issue in here recently when it really pours hard. The water gets in here somehow. Looks like I sealed it up though. I tried to fix it. it looks like I, it looks like it worked. What a wet year this has been so far. Like the beginning of the year, we had so much snow, but buried in snow and the snow melted. And we were like, yay, it's springtime. And now it just won't stop raining. The poor farmers. I'm trying to get their crops into the ground. Their fields must just be a muddy mess. If you're wondering, up above here in the left side of your screen, if you're looking at this way, yeah, it would be that way, right? The, the corner, every once in a while, there's a link that pops up there. It takes you to one of my past videos. I put those there. I put five of my past videos at different points in the video, like, of this video every day i do that and i put those up there if you want to go see past videos those pop up there if one catches your eye you can click on it and you know maybe watch it later at the end of my video i also have an end screen where yesterday's video will pop up along with another one that youtube recommends that you might like on my channel i was telling you before just a few clips ago that uh my playlist you can see from number one all the way to present day and before number one i used to call them mld it was my life daily we changed it to trucker josh vlogs because uh it just worked better i like the sound of it better and we've been going with that ever since it's been 10 years so there's also videos from before that uh in different playlists i gotta organize all those into like a pre-tjv playlist gotta do that yet it just takes some time and uh, time is a very valuable resource that i don't always have a lot of at all but if you if you want to be successful in life, you're gonna have to work for it. And it's if you want a successful man, you're gonna have to deal with a busy man. And also, before I forget to mention it today, because I'm gonna be mentioning it more uh, in upcoming videos and stuff, at Keystone Western, we're having an open house, and I'm gonna be there. Uh, my tr my new truck is gonna be there too. Uh, we're gonna be doing an open house on Friday, June 17th, from noon to 5 p.m. And I'll be there then for that whole time. And on Saturday, June 18th, so the next day, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, if you're looking for a career change, maybe you're looking to be a company driver. Maybe you're an owner-operator and you just want to see what Keystone has to offer. You don't have to make any commitments on the day, but it doesn't hurt just to come and check, right? I'm pretty confident that uh, you would be happy here. Uh, if you're an owner-operator, I can speak from experience because I just bought a truck myself and I'm putting it on here at Keystone Western as well. So that's testament to how much faith I have in this company and in their rates. I think you'd be very happy here. But if you just want to come and hang out, there's going to be some food. There's going to be door prizes. We're at 594 Burnett Road in Grand Point, Manitoba. That's between uh, the south perimeter on the southeast side of Winnipeg down Highway 59. That's uh, between the south perimeter and Ildeshane. 
there's a there's a QR code on the ad that I shared on Facebook. I'll share it on Twitter and I'll put it here on YouTube as well. You can scan that QR code to get directions to to where it is. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we get some really good weather. You can come uh, meet the crew. You can tour the facility, grab a bite to eat, and maybe even become part of our driving force. Maybe uh, if if you own your truck, maybe you can join me doing what I do now. I'm excited to get into my truck. I'm excited. And like I said, I've been here for 11 years. So I'm going to help them out every chance that I can because they've they've been amazing to me. So if you want to come and meet me and see the truck, if you want to see Keystone, see the facility, June 17th and 18th. Hopefully I'll see you there. Go, go, Juice! Thursday. Mark Diesel. Ooh. Player Diesel. Got to go with you, man. It's the law. The law says no marked diesel for you, trucker Josh. You pay full price. You're not special. Fine. Oh, okay. Might be the last time I'm fueling you up. The next time I've got to pay for it. <laughs> Let's enjoy this moment. It's the last time I fuel up and don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Where's my fuel cards? Are they over here? I gotta go. What is this? Pump five? Pump five. Let's do it. What is the fuel price here right now? It doesn't say at these card locks. It's probably like two bucks a liter. Six bucks a gallon. Beep. Incorrect reading. I'll show you an incorrect reading. Incorrect reading. Incorrect reading. Or the other one. Incorrect reading. Probably super fast. Wah! Incorrect reading. Slowly? Oh, you like it delicate. Oh, I see. I got you. I got you. Okay. And nobody look. I gotta put my super secret password in, okay? Everybody close your eyes. Why is it? But I'm not closing there. Five. Wunderbar. Please use pump selected. I will. That's why I selected it. What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh boy. I'm gonna wipe down those tanks again. They get dirty fast. Like really fast. It's a constant chore keeping things clean. Hello. It's empty. Does it say on here what the fuel price is? No, it doesn't. All right, all right. Put this on here. Start that going. I got my little setup right here. Don't want this to fall out of the tank and cause a mess. And go like this, like that. There you go, good to go. Now you can walk around and enjoy yourself. Don't go too far though. You're supposed to stay by the truck. In the U.S. it's really nice because in the U.S. we can fuel both sides at the same time. Even at the Flying J's with the fuel islands here in Canada, exactly the same as the U.S. Flying J's. You can only fuel one side at a time. Unless if those pumps are broken and then some, some of them will let you fuel uh, both sides at the same time. And that is like a little treat when that happens to you. If you ever find a pump in Canada that fills both sides at the same time, don't say anything to the fuel desk, okay? It's not supposed to do that, but it gets you fueled up twice as fast. And if you tell them, they're gonna fix it. And you can only fuel one side. I don't know why, it's a, it's a rule because you're supposed to be standing by your truck here. And uh, if you're fueling both sides here at the same time, and you're standing here, and that side falls out and is pouring on the ground, you might not notice it because you're over here on this side. They want you to stay here. Some places, like out east in the Maritimes, like uh, out by like Maine, USA, like out New Brunswick and stuff, you actually have to sit here and hold it the entire time. It's illegal to prop it open like this in those provinces. You see here in Manitoba, the Wild West, here we can still prop open our fuel pumps and it shuts itself off like that. Out east, uh, they're fancy. Minus 30 degrees? Oh, too bad. You gotta freeze your butt off. You gotta stand in here and hold it the whole time. And if they catch you propping it open with like the fuel cap or a bottle or something, you're in big trouble. One of the few things where Manitoba is better. A little more freedom here. <laughs> it's 
the Wild West. Now we need to take this over to the other side. Woo! And top it off. Let's enjoy it. It's the last time. Fueling up a truck like this from empty would be about $1,500 Canadian. Probably about $1,200 American. Maybe more. Depending on where you fuel. Some places it would probably be close to $2,000. Fuel prices are crazy right now. But lucky for us, uh, fuel rates, uh, fuel rates, uh, freight rates for us are keeping up. And our owner ops on percentage, on open deck, are uh, keeping up with that as well. That's why I bought a truck and uh, I'm diving right in. Even when the, the chaos of everything that's happening right now. Okay, that's full enough. That's a little too full. It's gonna be good. Because I know I'll be okay. They take care of their drivers here. And, uh, you know, everything's very expensive right now. Fuel costs a lot of money and that gets worked into the cost of the delivery. Obviously, because if you want stuff delivered to you, you're gonna have to pay for the energy to get it there, right? So everything goes up in price. Everything goes up in price just to pay for this. Diesel fuel. Everything is tied to this. There we go. This one I stand here and hold the whole time just because it's got a little bit of tension on it. I don't want it to pop out and fly out. So I just stand here. It's not, it's a nice day. Doesn't matter. It's crazy, it's hard to understand. I don't understand fuel prices. I understand freight rates and I understand uh, what I do in my profession. And for us, where I'm at right now, we're doing okay. We're doing fine. I mean, yeah, the cost of operation goes up, but the cost of delivery also goes up with that. So everybody's sort of making the same amount as they were before. It's just the numbers are bigger. It's that inflation, right? So what was $100 before is now $130. It's the same stuff. It's just the money's worth less. And there's a whole bunch of other factors involved too. I'm not an economist or anything. I'm not an expert on that, but all I know is that uh, we're keeping up, we're doing all right, and I'm excited to dive right in. All right, so let's go see how much we took. We can work out approximately, whoa, how much it will have costed. So today we got 429.21 liters, let's say 430 liters. The average price per liter here right now in Canadian is about $2. So this fuel up here was over $800. I just want to enjoy this moment. Sorry, I gotta, you know, I'm gonna do it right now. Gotta vacuum out this whole thing. My truck and my interior is gonna be a whole lot cleaner because I'm not gonna take my big boots off every time I get in and out of the truck. I'm in and out all day, right? So this, these rocks, like I vacuumed this out like a day ago. It's all messy again. So excuse that, but I just wanted to enjoy this moment here. Next time, that'll be my $800. Okay, moment's over. Oh, I'm gonna have to vacuum this truck out again today. But it's just that time of year, you know, it's all this mud everywhere and everything. It is what it is, it is what it is. My truck I'm not gonna be getting in and out of so often. There will not be any shoes, outside shoes allowed in my truck. Nope, Diesel's paws are the closest that's gonna come to that and we're gonna make sure that they're clean before they come in the truck. Nope, in my truck there will be driving slippers for driving whatever I have to do there. But my outdoor shoes will be in a nice little shoe rack or a shoe place off to the side. No dirt inside my truck. And I would do the same in this truck too, let's be honest. I, I would do the same here too, it's just I get in and out so often. And these shoes take forever to put on and take off. What? All right, boys and girls, here we go. Put her in gear. Let's get out of here. Full of fuel, full of juice. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Actually, you know what? Before we even leave this yard here, I want my coffee. It's one o'clock. I need my afternoon coffee. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There you are, my friend. You just stay right there, okay? I'll be right with you. Let's go. Dun 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 Oh no! Okay. Okay. Kerfluffle. There we go. There we go. Everybody's happy. Ready to go for a bud? Show me what that Corvette can do. Come on. Come on. Impress me. Nice. And like every other Corvette, the signals don't work. <laughs> it's one of the perks of uh, driving a Corvette or a very expensive sports car. Signals are optional for you. I hope to reach that day. One day I'll reach that point. So, we figured out why the finances weren't getting released as quickly as we thought they should be. I made a few phone calls today because I was wondering, like, what's going on? Let's get this on the road, right? Let's, uh, what's going What's the holdup? I'm getting impatient. I'm not getting impatient. <laughs> and I want to know what was going on. Why? As I, I, <coughs> I talked to the seller today and asked, you, know, you haven't got the money yet. The down payment hasn't come out of my account yet. Why hasn't the money moved, right, on this purchase of the truck? What's going on? So I called into the, the financer. I was like, what's going on? Why is the money not moving? It's, it's been a little while. Oh, they were waiting for one more document. One more document. So we uh, figured out which one it was, and we got it to them. And now they have everything they need. I mean, I thought before they already had everything they needed, but now they have everything they need. There's a lot of I's to dot and T's to cross when you're uh, purchasing a big purchase like this, especially when it's a commercial vehicle, because the registration is different. The insurance is different. Uh, the price is bigger. The financing is different. Uh, than when you're buying like a personal vehicle sh or something like that. So, uh, anyways, I'm learning. I mean, this is the third truck I've had, but let's be honest, the second truck I was leasing through Keystone. So they did all of this work for me. They did all of this, uh, you know, paperwork for me. It was super easy. I don't know if that one would count. The truck before that that I had was the Freightliner Sentry, and that one I bought uh, 2011. It was much simpler. For some reason, oh, much simpler. But this one, anyways, this one, maybe because it's the W9 that I've been waiting for, things are a little bit more complicated, but uh, we got everything under control now, I think. I think it's uh, now we should see funds moving and we should, should see numbers moving. Uh, let's, let's be honest, this money doesn't uh, exist anymore like it used to. It's all digital. It's all just numbers in a computer. And all they got to do is beep, beep, beep hit a few buttons and you know the numbers change in my account and the numbers change in my seller's account and then everybody's happy <laughs> but so hopefully this will happen tomorrow i don't know if it will or not i won't like hold my breath over it but i'm hoping this will happen tomorrow on friday and then i can take possession because as soon as that money transfers and they give him the money that is his i can go get the keys because the truck is safetyed it's got all the work done to it that was supposed to be done to it. Now, the only thing that was uh, that needs to be done yet is the bumper. Uh, he ordered a, a new bumper for it that was part of the deal. And uh, the bumper that came in was the wrong size, unfortunately. Uh, so he's got to order a different bumper, and that's going to come in in probably two or two to four weeks or so. So uh, I told him, yeah, it's no problem. Yeah, just leave the old bumper. There's nothing wrong with the old bumper, except it had been bent out a little bit. So that's why he was going to replace it for me, which I really appreciate. It's really nice of him. Uh, so he's going to get the new bumper, and uh, he'll just bring it to the shop here, and we'll install it here at my shop. He's from Steinbeck here as well as from the town here. So uh, we'll install it later. But I can take possession before the bumper gets here. That wasn't a deal breaker for me, but I, I do still want that <laughs> eventually. 
So that's the that's the only thing. Other than that, everything's done. It's ready to go. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. If nothing big happens tomorrow, we gotta wait till Monday to see what happens. And that'll be a very long weekend. But in that case, I'm probably gonna go to the Ride for Dad on Saturday. That's a motorcycle rally, motorcycle ride uh, for a fundraiser for prostate cancer and prostate cancer research. Uh, well, it's probably, a, a, I mean, a fundraiser for the research, not for the cancer itself. Just clarifying. <laughs> Some people are just reading the subtitles here, so I gotta clarify. <laughs> It's a, it's a bike rally in support of prostate cancer research. It's called the Ride for Dad. And if I don't have possession of the truck tomorrow or this weekend, that's probably what I'll do on Saturday is I'll head out there and uh, take part in that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. We'll see. We'll see. But if I have the, if I have the truck this weekend, and I'm not going to want to leave this shop. The shop, the truck's going to be right here, and I'm going to be sitting here staring at it. <laughs> that's my plan for the weekend if I can get that truck in my possession before the weekend my plan for the weekend is literally sit in those couches right there and stare at the truck that's uh, maybe start it up <laughs> big big weekend plans big weekend plans but anyways I'm done putting this together here so I'm gonna head home and uh, we're gonna get some supper going we might go for a walk or a bike ride or something and we'll go to sleep and we'll get ready for tomorrow Nice evening. Didn't do anything today though. No bike ride, no walk. No time. Got home, ate supper. And that was all we had time for. Now it's time to go to bed. I know the sun's still up in the sky, but it's actually like nine o'clock. So it's later than it feels. It's that time of year. It's my favorite time of year. Sun goes down at like 10 o'clock and rises at five in the morning. It's great. So it's light when you go to bed and it's light when you wake up. Usually. Diesel, stay out of the mud. No, no, no diesel. This, no diesel. Diesel. I'm, I specifically said no, don't go in the mud. You're my witness. He almost straight up just ignored me. So it was a pretty long vlog as it was already, so I guess I'll just end it here. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we have good news uh, tomorrow to share with you about the truck. If not, I guess it'll be next week. Hey, maybe we can do that ride for Dad then, because tomorrow's Friday. Oh, dogs are barking.